Despacito. <laughs> Pinoy, Pinoy. <laughs> hindi, hindi, ano, international act. Amara siya, kijilo, nag-rap na siya. Latino, uh, rapper. <laughs> Parang kalbo siya na, guy. Kalbo na, baka pitbull. Mr. Worldwide. Oh, si pitbull. May, may night na siya nag-perform. Tapos the next night, si Rihanna. Pero Tapos yung night... Tapos yung night, Tantino. Tantino? Promise talaga. Kumamplin talaga. What? Sino ba yung mga plug perform Ah, si pitbull, si Rihanna, tas ikaw. Pero what the... <laughs> sobrang nakakagulit, sobrang daming Pinoy. Tsaka pag kasi nabing artist, kahit isa lang, pupunta talaga sila. Kasi gustong gusto talaga ng mga kababayan natin makinig talaga ng, ng, ng musika. Yung, alam mo, at grabe yung trabaho ng mga Pilipino dun eh. Na umaga hanggang gabi, tapos minsan hindi sila nag-off. So parang pag nagkaroon ng ganun talaga opportunity, talaga kinukuha talaga nila. So, lalo na ngayon, hindi lang isa ah. Sobrang dami namin. Talagang sure na mag-enjoy yung mga kababayan natin. Nakalip na silang lahat. Ito po. Sa buong araw. Opo. Opo. Diyan po. Dito ba? Um, I... KG? Pakachika ko po. Ano nga po ulit yung tayo? Kami na reaction ng mga mga tao. Para sa mga hindi first time sa Dubai, baka pwede yung share. Sa music ko, kasi nga po, nung first time ko po doon, kasama ko po si Sir Rico, wala pang mahal ko. Mahal ako, wala pang do less known ni people. So fresh from X Factor ba ito? Super fresh from X Factor pa ako. So parang kumbaga, hindi din naman... Pero magaling pa rin. Oh, oh, nag-stand out. Sorry, nare-record ko po yan mamaya. Noon ako ng set ngayon, dumating ako ng maaga. Doon ako napanood. Doon ko pa lang siya unang napanood. Birthday ko talagang yun. Tsaka nag-marka. Kasi naalala niya, o nag-marka ka. Kasi nag-marka ka. Kasi nag-marka ka. Ay, nag-marka seryoso. Sobrang nakakataba po ng puso yun, sir. Yung mas magsisikap pa yung mga artists na mas galingan pa nila yung ginagawa nila kasi may mga taong katulad niyo po na kahit Rico Blanco na kayo na napapansin niyo pa rin po kaming mga nagsisimula pa. <laughs> Tapos nakalimutan. <laughs> 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 Ay, yung reaction ko na. Yun nga po, medyo hindi din po kasi lahat ng mga Pinoy nung time na yun na, na nakanood ng X Factor kasi nga po nagtatrabaho po sila. Yung pinantahan po talaga nila nung si Sir Rico. <laughs> Tapos panggol <laughs> po. De, pero ayun po, hindi, hindi, ko, hindi ko po masabi eh. Kasi wala pa, wala pa yung mahal ko. Ma mahal ako, wala pa yung, guys, meron ba akong kanta na alam niyo Ganun. Baka pag sinabi ko, hindi nga namin, alam mo sino ka. <laughs> <laughs> Noong time na yun, so sana naman ngayon na uh, mas ano na. Of course, ngayon. Lalo na yung kapag Tapos natuloy. Tapos may survey yung... pa. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Lalo na kung matuloy yung huwag ka na umiyak. Yes. Lalo lahat ng nanonood ng ang probinsya, no? May ikikanta doon. Oh, oh. Baka feeling na naman, namatay na naman. <laughs> Yun nga yung sinasabi mo kanina, Miss Casey, yung kahit walang problema, pag narinig nila yun. Oo. Manood po kayo palagi ng provinsyano. Abangan niyo po pag may natitegi. Version ko yun. Talaga? Pansinin mo. Tapos pag mga pag mga barilan, tapos pag nanaro si Cardo, kung wala, pag may namatay, tegi ako yun. Halimbawa, nasa banyo ka tayo. Matutugtog yung version ko, alam mo na. May namatay na lang. Okay. So maraming maraming salamat sa ating friends from the press dito sa Global TFC Studio. Pero ngayon, as uh, I've been saying kanina pa, na may mga kasama tayong press from Dubai. So we can see them here. And now, we can ask them questions, or they can ask you questions from Dubai na. So, to our friends from Dubai, baka pwede na po kayong magtanong. Hello po. Yes? Okay? So, let's all listen. Hi! Hello po sa mga taga-Dubai. Hi! Hello po sa mga taga-Dubai. Ayun, kumawa yun. Ayun, kumawa yun. Ayun, kumawa yun. Kumawa yun, naka-blue. Ay, 1 p.m. Ah, hello po. Hello po. Other friends from the media, uh, we have a very okay world agent rap here, Henry of Filipino Times, Jekka from Cabayan DP, Janine and Winnie from the Marnigos Fans Club. Wow, Marnigos! Babalik po si Inigo. Babalik po si Inigo. Expat Media, Irish from Golf News, and Shikai from Bad Radio. And I'd like to acknowledge also the presence of our regional marketing head, Mary Bell Hernanes, and managing director, I think for our first question, um, it will be coming from Jekka of Kabayan Hi, hello po. Hi, Hi Jekka. Hi. 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 Hi.
Hey Moats and Della. Um, as you mentioned, this is your first time. Um, what What is, uh, I know that you both you have performed with, um, with other artists. Uh, why Zella? And at the same time, what uh, particular song would you like to um, dedicate for our OFWs detox at Dubai? Um, well, I actually haven't performed with Zella yet since the launch of Tars Year. I performed with Marcus and Marion and Sam and a few of our other artists, Kiana, um, Curtis Smith, but uh, we haven't had a chance to perform together. And um, I feel like her music is particularly fit for that. Um, I don't know, something about the, the region. I've never been, but the idea in my head kind of conjures her music. Um, we have two singles out with her. One is called Kamada Silva, another is called Space Travel. And then we're working on a third one that she wrote herself called Till. Um, and we're actually hoping to record it this week. So, Zana, we play all three of those. Well, Kamada Silva, I feel like, was written about the Philippines and about living in a tropical island paradise and the escape. I wrote that one. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I actually wrote Kamada Silva, but the other two she wrote. Nice. Yep. Okay, um, yeah. Next question is for uh, Silent Sanctuary. Um, is this your first time thought to perform in the Middle East? Oh, po, first time for namin na uh, mag-out of the country. Uh, the first time. Uh, but anong song po that you would like to dedicate sa mga FWP ito? Ah, yun. Um, siguro po yung sayo. <laughs> Isa yung nga. Kasi parang... Um, Saan mo siya nagamit? Obviously siya ng last night kasi sa daddy ni Nico. Kasi yung film nila yeah, Piyo na Pasma. Uh, and Gonzaga. Opo, kasi siya po. Okay. Yeah. And yun, gusto namin dedicate yun siguro personal favorite din ng banda. So, pag personal favorite, iba rin yung, iba rin yung dating. Ayun, gusto namin, gusto namin perform yun and dedicate yung sayo na kanta namin kasi isa yun sa mga personal favorite namin. And, although lahat naman favorite, pero ito, ito sa mga, sa mga gusto gusto namin pinaperform ng live. So, gusto namin um, marinig yun kung paano perform. So, since it's first time din namin sa sa abroad and sa Middle East. So, gusto namin maramdam sa mga kababayan at sa mga kapamilya natin kung yung, yung kanta, maparamit sa kanila. Okay. Thank you, Sam. Okay. 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 The next question will be coming from Golf News. Good afternoon. Um, this question is for everyone. Um, do you think ba mas marami ng tao in this um, day and time, yung nakaka-realize ng power of music, like um, how it influences lives ng people, like the way it influences yours. Who would like to start? I volunteer yung constantly. Ano may pinolunteer? Ano, opo. I think, lalo na po ngayon dahil sa social media, mas marami na po talaga mga tao nakaka-realize ng power ng music. And when you incorporate it with a big uh, message, Kaya nga po lahat halos ng mga campaigns, inialagyan ng musika para mas maging effective. And I think also, uh, since I'm a Christian, narealize ko yung po lalo yan kasi, di ba yung Hillsong? Hindi mo maaalala yung pastor, pero maaalala mo yung banda ng Hillsong. Pagka meron yung City Point na church, ang maaalala mo yung music nila more than yung preaching. So ang ganda kasi nung, nung mensahe, kapag nilagyan mo ng musika, mas nagiging, ay, parang sumasabog yung impact. So I think mas marami po nakaka-realize would also like to share their thoughts? Um, lalo na siguro sa mga kapamilya natin of the country na malayo sa families nila. Every time na namimiss nila yung mga pamilya nila, music yung nandun para sa kanila. Yung, yung nagko-comfort sa kanila. Yun na nga, paborito nung... Kaya din siguro nila... Um, kami napili para mag-perform doon kasi siguro baka yung mga kanta namin, yun yung pinapakinggan nila. Pag, yun nga, namimiss nila yung mga pamilya nila. Baka yung sayo, yun yung, yun yung team song nila sa pamilya or yung team song nila sa minamahal nila. So, ayun, ganun ka-powerful yung music eh, na pwedeng from ganitong mood mo mag-change ng 180 na mabago. So, ganun. Kaya sobrang fortunate and blessed kaming lahat na mapili para kahit sa loob lang ng isang araw ay magpa-feel natin sa lahat ng mga kababayan natin na parang nandito sila sa Pilipinas. It, it makes you feel things instantly. Yes, you know? yes. And since we got the best of the best artists in the music scene, um, hindi lang glimpse ay paparamdam namin ng Pilipinas, kundi buong Pilipinas. So, 
ng sinasabi ni Miss Yen Consen. Ba't ganun? Pinatayin ako ng mic. Hindi ka daw singer. Hindi daw, sorry, sorry. Hindi ka singer eh. Number 8. Number 8. Sorry. Yung, uh, we got the best of the best artists coming to Dubai. We're, hindi lang glimpse ang ipapakita namin, kundi paparamdam namin yung buong Pilipinas. Pupunta po dyan para ipag-feel sa inyo na nandito palagi yung ating mga kapamilya for you guys. Now, before we proceed, we'd like to remind everyone that na we're watching right now on facebookcom Middle East, not just by our families, na Pinoy, pero pati yung mga non-Filipinos then worldwide. So, hello to everyone watching right now. So, okay. guys, okay. Okay. So, um, I think. Hi, 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 Oh, um, what also like? Same question. A new question. New question. Oh, okay. Back to you. Yes, back go ahead. Back to you, Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> the next question is coming from Mars of Expat Media. Mars. 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 After River Maya, you took a role as a solo artist. And what did you love as well as hate from that journey? And what have you learned from from it? I, I see. Thank you for your question, Mars. I see my whole. I see my whole life as one journey and I don't hate any part and I think uh, everything that happens was, was meant to happen or if it wasn't meant to happen, nangyari na eh. So, tanggapin na lang natin, embrace it and, and you know, just embrace it. So, I, I had a lot of great experiences uh, with River Maya and I always said, in fact, for, on my launch, my first album called a solo art, solo artist. I, the first thing I said was I wouldn't be there uh, if it went for River Maya. So all of the things that happened there, the, the bandmates I had, they all taught me precious uh, lessons that 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 really shaped me as a not just as a musician but also as a person. So I'm thankful to everyone I met along the way. When I was a solo artist, I got to work with much, even more, even more musicians and artists uh, touring and recording. And so I think the best thing about it was just, I think the people, you know, the, the, the relationships that uh, you made with, with every single one that you meet along the way when you're you know, you're considering it parang work, di ba? Hanap buhay, pero, pero hindi, di ba? Hindi lang yun yun eh. So, I'm very thankful for, I don't know if I answered your question, but <laughs> I didn't really hate anything about, you know, maybe at that point, uh, no, may mga araw na hindi kasi, isn't running the way you want it to, but when you look back, parang everything is just, it's just, uh, uh, it's a treat. It's such a, you know, something that not everyone gets to experience. I experience it, you know. And so I'm uh, really stoked, happy, happy about it. Thank you, Sir Rico. Robi, nung nagsolo ka after Digger Boys, uh-oh, baka nakakarlit ka, gano'n. Uh-oh. Iglaway ko doon yung sick. Kinakalimutan ko na ngayon part 10 kasi medyo masakit pa rin eh. Kasi may hihingi lang yung sample ng dance mo doon. Ano ba? Once again, ha? Bakit ako bigla? Lahat ng broad mo ng Digger Boys. Ibabalik ko po doon yung Digger Boys sa stage ng Dubai. Oh, excited na po ako i-perform na. Let's get back to Sir Marvin Argoso, our host from Dubai. Yeah, um, we'd also like to hear from Tag Radio, Chikai, may question din sa Perdani. Yes, hi! Hello! Hello. I'm Chikai from Tag 91.1, hello! Hello. hello! Ayan, some of you guys na meet ko na when I was way back in the Philippines. Pero, ito na muna, um, let's talk about, uh, I want to ask question to DJ Moves. 
Ayan. I remember a while ago you mentioned that parang feeling mo hindi ka nag uh, hindi nag appear yung name mo dun sa survey. But I featured your songs with Sam Concepcion and Marion Honor on my segment which is called Popcorn React, and I got good reactions and mga comments from the people. The question na tinatanong nila, kasi nga yung, medyo iba yung feel eh, kasi nga EDM, then with the mix of Marion Paras Electric Gold and also No Limitations for Sam Concepcion. Are there any artists na gusto pang magkaroon ng collaboration? Um, I also read in an article that you are planning to tap Indigo Pascual, right? Yeah, I've, I've written one for him, and he has the demo, and he's down for it. And we're just trying to find a schedule Ooh. to record. As far as a collab, I mean, take your pick. Any one of these people yeah, would be amazing to collaborate with. Of course, any. Actually, I'm going to play a demo. I'm going to play a demo. I'm going to play a demo. I think demo. Say it again. I've been trying to get a hold of me so busy, though. You know. uh, sorry. Also, most offers. likely, Robbie will be performing sa umpisa pa lang, collaborating with him on stage. I so, think goodbye. bago magsimula yung, yung bago magsimula yung set DJ. <laughs> bago mo, para hindi mo mapahiya. <laughs> bago mag sun up. Bago, so, oh, sun up oh, and oh. sun down. You can do it on sun up naman. <laughs> Before <laughs> sun up and after sun down, ako yung mag-perform mo. <laughs> so, right. free, free anyway, concert thank you so much. Ayan, thank you, thank thank you, you so DJ much. Moves. Ayan. Next question is for Yan Constantino. Ayan. Hi, Um, So, aside from music, I know you've been active with vlogging. Very active yung YouTube account mo. And I see every week talagang meron kang new content. And with your tours, eh, talagang fini-feature mo yung mga ganap mo sa iba't ibang bansa. Are you going to include Dubai in your future vlogs? Ay, oo When po. you come here? Nakalainap na po yun sa ano ko, isusod ko po sa vlog ko. Kasi gusto, gusto ko po talaga na sinishare sa mga followers ko yung mga nangyayari sa life ko. Bukod po dun sa nakikita nila sa television. Even yung mga nasa bahay or nag-makeup ako, nagka-prepare. Meron nga po akong nag-workout na alam mo yun, parang anything na gusto ko ma-share sa kanila that I, I think would add value to their lives. Na parang makakatulong sa, or makaka-inspire sa kanila in any way. I think... Ito pong Dubai show, sobrang magko-collect to the fans in a way na makikita nila kung ano rin yung buhay ng mga kababayan natin dyan and how, kung gaano kasi yung magiging crowd. At syempre yung mga taga Dubai din, discover nila lang may YouTube channel ako, so magsusubscribe sila. Mayroon siya ang YouTube channel, at talaga nang remake up pa siya doon. And speaking of YouTube channel, how would you define Yen Constantino as a singer? Because for the past videos, you are uploading your music videos in your YouTube channel. And Yen Constantino as the vlogger. Ano po? May difference ba silang malawa? I think ngayon po sa, paano ko ba sasabihin to? Kasi po, <laughs> ang hirap i-explain nung nangyayari din sa akin. Ngayon ni Sir, ni Sir Rico, parang may pinagdadaanan din ako sa life ko na parang nahihiwalay ko na ngayon yung, yung singer na Yeng dun sa, simula po nung nag-asawa ko, parang nagkaroon siya ng, parang ano, ng hati, na I know na itong ginagawa ko sa labas, it's a part of me, na, na mag-perform, na perform na artista ako. Pero once I go home, tatanggalin ko yung makeup, I'm a wife. So, magkaiba, magkaiba siya. So, yung vlogger na yung, I think, doon po nakakita ng mga tao, yung, yung kaya mostly ng mga vlogs ko po, wala akong makeup, or hindi na, halos din, hindi nga po nakaplant siya yung hair ko. Kasi every time nakikita ko ng mga tao, they see me, ah, street style siya, or may kulay yung buhok niya, o may maganda siyang eyeshadow, ang ganda ng lipstick niya. Pero doon sa vlog, sobrang raw na para makita nila yung pangbahay na yun. Natawag ko po sa kanya yung si Katulong na yun. Kasi minsan talaga, huwag matulong dito sa vlog na to. I like it. Parang may, may, may certain uh, truth na, na alam ko na hindi rin nakikita ng mga tao usually. So I think yun po yung role na ako. Kaya sana po sa mga nandyan, ito na po pagkakataon ko, subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> para makahit ka na ng 200,000 soon. Yay! 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 Pati na lang siya. Anyway, thank you so much. Thank and now you. the next question is for Hazy Tandingan. First of all, I'd like to congratulate you because for the past months, ang kanta mo ay back to back number one, wow. number two sa top ten. Thank you, you guys. Don't know. Tag 921 is the only Filipino radio station here in the UAE, and your Labob is on number two. Two less only people on number one at the collaboration wow. with Nuwen. Kabangon na kaya is number three. Wow. Number 
from my latest album na Labo na medyo kung kung baga yung side ko na medyo nagra-rap sing ako na medyo may scat na medyo parang iba yung feels tapos oh my gosh maraming salamat po tapos <laughs> parang wala pa nakagawa niya na no? wala pa nakagawa niya people are so uh, here in Dubai One, two, because four years na rin yung station and almost turning five people here in Dubai really appreciate how much you've grown for the past years and we could compare your songs yung bago ka nag uh, after ka mag X Factor and throughout this year and yeah. 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 happy birthday <laughs> 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 so, so, makakolaborate, sabi ko talaga, ha? Bakit ako? <laughs> tapos, ayun na nga nangyari, tapos ganun pa yung support ako, oh my gosh. <laughs> Maraming salamat po. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, huwag makibuksan niyo. <laughs> Well, well deserved, well, well deserved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that information, uh, Miss Chikai. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. So, gusto ko lang kasi parang you for the past, parang very doubtful sila kung talaga ba nag-hit sila with the survey. I can tell because I'm working in the music industry for so long and I've been in Dubai for quite some time na rin. Eh, talagang naging hit yung mga kanta ninyo. Even Silent Sanctuary, people were requesting for Silent Sanctuary kasi nga sobrang takam na takam sila sa mga artists na first time nilang makikita at mapapakinggan dito sa Dubai. Pati si Robby, rinirequest din. Salamat po. Ano pong nag-hit sa akin? Baka ako yung hit nila. Anyway, sige. Anyway, yung kay Casey, hindi na lang ako magtatanong. It's okay. Congratulations na lang. Ayan. Thank you. Sir, we got love ko na. Ayan. So, you've been here, if I'm not mistaken, you were here 2014, February 13, sa isang concert sa Abu Dhabi. And nag-very wow ang stage, lahat, everything. So, in-enevit up niyo po ba ang stage performance this coming One Music X? Ito yung do, ito yung malaking arena, di ba? Yes, sa do arena, yes. Ili-level up ko pa ba? Gusto niyo pa? More pa doon? But this time, hindi yan ang mga feathers ng mga ano natin bitbit. Parang kulang na lang, merong apoy na lalabas sa bibig ko. Hindi ko na lang parang ili-level up. So, but, um... I I try to bring I try to bring the same uh, and, you know through my throughout my career I've always tried to be consistent. Na even if it's a small bar, na one time there were six people that nagkagulo yung promoter in some other country. Tas parang anim na tao lang sa audience. I I still played as if there were you know a hundred thousand people there. So. Um, I'm going to try to top that one. Kasi naalala ko yung sinasabi mo my last concert in in in, uh, in Abu Dhabi. Two Arena. Sa Two Arena. Sobrang saya. A akala ko sa stage, sobrang saya na. And then, when I got home, I saw some videos nung shots from the back. Kasi yung maliit na hindi ko na makita. Eh. Masyadong malaya na. Ang grabe ang saya nila dun sa likod. Parang... 
Parang mas gusto ko ng tunog ko sa likod. So, uh, sa Arabia. Oh, yung hindi na kasi abot yung mata ko doon eh. <laughs> Medyo madilim na. But this time, uh, especially I haven't played in many, many months. Baka mas maraming energy kaysa doon sa uh, yes. sa last one. Comeback performance. Oh. Um, so people are excited here, and you can see naman na with the lineup of One Music X, ang gagaling na mga artists. Any plans of sharing the stage with any artist na nandito sa lineup, or kung hindi man sa One Music X stage, may plan ba kayo magkaroon ng collaboration with this artist na katabi nyo ngayon? Uh, siguro, mga God forbid. Uh, uh, <laughs> Actually, kapag usapan namin parang few months na nalaman namin na kasali kami, parang gusto sana namin pajamin si Miss KZ. O, tara, gawin na natin! Pero, yun nga, medyo press for time. Depende lang, depende. Depende po kung ano pangyayari sa ako. Pero, I definitely will give our best sa One Music X Dubai. It's our first time out of the country. And bibigyan namin yung best namin para talagang sulit yung experience sa mga kapamilya natin dyan. So, yung paabangan nila. And songs, of course, original songs from us. Thank you. We're looking forward to see you guys here. Congratulations. Um, that's it from Dubai. I'd like to thank our Dubai Music Awards winners. Thank you so much. Hey, guys. Thank you, Marvin. Back to you as well. <laughs> <laughs> we will see you soon in Paris. Yeah. Yes. We will see you soon in person. And now, we have questions online. Ito ay galing kay Mario from Dubai din. So, this is for Sir Rico Blanco. Kung may isusulat kayo na kanta para sa aming mga overseas workers sa Dubai, ano ang magiging title or theme nito? Palagay ko na sulat ko na eh. <laughs> Pipigil na lang ako. <laughs> Kasi marami namin na ako na sulat. Ano-ano uh, po ito? Meron, siguro maganda yun sa last album ko. Dating Gawi. Sa Dating Gawi. Yung ano, umuwi ka na. Uh, sa perspective siya nung mga naiwan. So, hindi ko naman kayo pinapauwi dahil <laughs> alam ko, dahil alam ko naman, oh, kayo yung mga bayani ng ating lipunan, no? Uh, and, and you're doing our, our country proud, and so, yun lang, siguro ang sinasabi ko lang dun sa song na yun, kung i-dedicate ko siya sa inyo, is that we miss you, yeah, we miss you, and uh, home doesn't feel the same without you, but you know, we understand that you gotta do what you gotta do, but we miss you. Okay. Next question natin, from at Mark Neil Rivera from Dubai din siya. For KZ, ano ang ultimate hugot song mo? Yung ano, yung pinaka talaga yung huwag ka nang umiyak. Kasi every time na halimbawa lahat naman tayo may face sa buhay na parang hindi na natin ma-figure out kung saan patungo yung mga nangyayari sa atin in the present. Na minsan naka-question mo na parang, God, do you really have a better plan for me minsan? Pero, kumbaga, ito yung kanta na parang nag-remind sa akin na whatever I am going through, meron at merong Panginoon na hindi hindi ka iiwan sa lahat ng pagdadaanan mo. Yun nga yung line sa kanta na parang, Huwag ka nang umiyak. Hindi, hindi kita bibitawan. Kapit ka sa akin. Hindi kita pababayaan. Parang ganun. So, yun yung pinaka-ultimate na hugot song ko, siguro. Lalo na sa mga kababayan natin na nagtatrabaho out of the country na minsan nga parang hindi na nila alam kung is it still worth it na sobrang layo ako sa pamilya ko. Tapos, in kumbaga hindi naman lahat ng kapamilya natin ay sinuswerte sa mga employers and sinuswerte sa work na nahahanap nila pero ayun nga parang ito yung isa sa mga songs na pinapakinggan nila to remind them na kahit malayo sila sa pamilya nila 
meron at meron pa rin higher being na nagagabay sa kanila at nag nagsusulat ng perfect life story para sa kanila na kung ano man yung mga rejections na pinagdadaanan nila, lahat yun ay redirection lang para sa dapat nilang puntahan talaga sa buhay. Thank you, Casey. So, si Yen Constantine Yes, Miss Yen. Okay. Same question. Ultimate hugot song. Nakuhugot song. Ano ba? Ah... Uh, Mahilig po kasi ako makinig ng mga worship songs recently. Parang, uh, lagi po ako nakikinig. Meron akong playlist sa Spotify ko ng uh, top hits. Ever, para ma-update, influence lang. Tapos mga favorite ko na mga old songs. Meron din akong playlist nung tawag ko Soaking uh, Playlist. Soaking. Kasi parang feeling ko kailangan, parang hindi, I realized sa edad ko po na to na hindi ko talaga kaya mag-function ng talagang fully kung hindi ko ma-feel kung ano yung nararamdaman para sa akin ng Diyos. Kasi, I get to be, to, um, alam, may um, mga anxiety ganyan, or, or merong, merong mga madidilim ako na feel insecurities. Um, pero every time nakikinig ako ng worship songs, I cry, pero umiiyak ako dahil nagiging positive, tether ng song yung negative na feel ko into parang baligtad. So, I, I listen to Chris Tomlin's Good, Good Father. Sobrang ganda ng song. Kaya sabi ng first na lang, ay, at sa Tagalog, ang dami ko na narinig na story ah, tungkol sa'yo and kung anong itsura mo. Pero alam ko, mas, mas meron akong alam na parang personal na story nating dalawa and who you are to me. And it's personal. Kasi yun yung chorus, You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. To you are, and I'm loved by you. And every time I hear that song, pag nagpapenetrate siya to my spirit, to my to my heart, I became whole. I can go out my day and be happy and do kung ano yung so, da, kailangan kong gawin, pagkurado man yan, kung kailangan kong manta in some full set, three songs, alam mo yun, I can just be myself and be happy with where I am now. Good, good father. Thank you, Siyang. Another question for our online viewers, Romel of Dubai. Ito for Silent Sanctuary. Kaka-break lang namin ang girlfriend ko. Ah! <laughs> ano sa palagay ninyo ang kanta na pwede kong pakinggan para maka-move on? Romel of Dubai. Ay, mar actually, marami yung kaming pang break up song. Depende, oh, depende sa ako kung, kung, gusto, kung ano gusto mo mangyari. Gusto mo mag-move on? Gusto mo bumalik siya? Mm -hmm. Ganun. Siguro pag gusto mo mag-move on, tingin ko yung pakinggan mo kasi may baka may single ngayon yung malayo na tayo. Or yung pasensya ka na. Mm -hmm. Kung gusto mo maka-move on, may baka makatulong sa'yo. Yan. Yeah. Okay. Pang-move on yun. Eh, paano yung kung gusto makipagbalik ka? Yuck ka na lang. Meron din yung hiling, no? Yung hiling. Yung hiling. Kami po pwede ka na sa akin. Tapos meron ng iba, pwede rin yun. Ang mabot ka na kayo. Baka gusto na i-share. Ano ba? Sige, okay. Ito from Bernadette from Dubai din. This is for DJ Moves and Zella. Hi, DJ Moves and Zella. Who is your biggest music influence? You can go first. Um, I mentioned my influences as far as electronic producers earlier, but I think one of my favorite musical influences period is Elton John. I think. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I stand? Wow. Yeah. Um, wow. He's like one of the best composers I've ever um, heard, listened to. I mean, the Lion King soundtrack, that's largely him. Yes. <laughs> Which is the most amazing CD ever. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm just a huge fan, so. Did not expect that from you, okay. Uh, Zella? I, I love Cyndi Lauper, so I'm, like, most of the music I listen to has been, like, her songs, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, as, as EDM artists, I expected, you know, a more contemporary angle to your, <laughs> your answers, but you like classic yeah, and old I, school artists. I would so. say EDM's a medium, mm -hmm. um, but the so songwriting is still the same. The chords, mm -hmm. the melody, the words, you know, it's just expressed through synthesizers instead of guitars, but ultimately it's you the same. You still incorporate a gu I guitar. I do play guitar as well, but I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, it's just a different medium. 
Yes, I heard from Sam Conception that you are a sick guitar player. Yes! yes. Okay. Happy easy, ah! Happy to be able to do it on the legs only, ah! Yeah! Hindi, kasi nanood ako nung concert ni Sam Conception. Siya yung musical director ni Sam Conception. Wow! So, sobrang imagine ninyo, sobrang sick siya na DJ, sobrang sick niya na make na 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 musician kasi meron ding prod si si um, Sam Conception na uh, na gitara lang ng duet yata sila ni DP ganun so siya lahat yun imagine niyo siya lahat nagpatakbo ng buong <laughs> ano na yun ng buong concert na yun so sobrang nakaganda na kami lahat ang galing na sound pero ulam nga din yung MD oh <laughs> ganun sobrang kailangan niyo din siyang mapanood guys aside from yung DJ set niya with Zell of course sana mapanood niyo din siya ng nakagitara lang sobrang DJ Moves, may message daw po si Robby sa inyo. Ano yun, Robby? Sabi ko naman. Eh, sinabi niya, sobrang sick daw kayo eh. Sana gumaling na po kayo. Kung ano pa yung pinagdadaanan niyo? Ano pong ginagawa dito ni Robby? Sa mga taga-tabay. Ang gulat ako sabi kasi niya, sobrang sick niya talaga. Uy, concert ako. Tawis ko po comment sa side ko. Sana gumaling niya siya. Sa mga taga-tabay, alam niyo na po kung ano yung expect kay Robby. Sakto, sa mga taga-tabay. Ay, siya po lahat. Host. Um, siya dito yung stand-up comedian yeah, doon. Yeah, yeah. Tapos taga-intro. Tapos <laughs> <laughs> papasok po kayo sa... Nag-register po kayo. Tapos big your voice for me. Ano pa ni Gabriel? Gusto mo yung mga gusto mo eh. Ito from Crystal from Dubai. For Robby and Ayi. Ikaw mo una. Kung may dadalhin ka... Ay! Kung may dadalhin ka para sa Kama biggest music festival, <laughs> sino yun? The biggest music festival na one day next to Dubai. Ano kaya na kalaga? Sino? Yung the whole point is the moves. Dadalhin ko. Dadalhin. Dadalhin yung song Regine. Oo. Ano mong galing ko si Miss Regine, di ba? Hindi, may kilala ko favorite yun eh. Yung kapatid ko. Oo, ano? Sino daw dadalhin ko? Sino nga ba? Maraming tao, pero... Isa lang daw. Sino daw? Sino? Ikaw, dadalhin ka pala. Ando na ako. Yeah! Kareg, 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 kare yung totoo? Yung oh, tatay ko. <laughs> Pinatanong natin siya, pero tayo yung nag-aalong daddy yan. Iba. Hindi, <laughs> hindi. Iba ka tao sabihin mo. Maraming naman pwedeng dali na masabi kong akin na akin, kundi pamilya ko eh. Doon naman ako nakasandal palagi. Seryoso. So, idol ka pa din ko, nanay ko. Kasi nyo sabi sa sarili ko. Ano ba yung gusto nyo sabihin? Hindi, hindi. May iba, may iba mga lakap eh. May isang beses na naiyak ako sa kanta ni Sir Rico. Love song siya. Chinin Stabi. Hindi, your universe, pero naiyak ako. At siyempre iba yung hugot na pinagadaan ako noon. Kaya mabuhay kayo, sir. So, who are you bringing? O, yun nga, mabalik tayo doon sa Dubai. Who are you bringing? Dubai naman, hindi naman China. Oh, pasensya ka. Ako naman! Sumagot ka na kasi! Ang hindi na kalito. Ako sige lang. Si Tipi. Kasi po, barkado po kami tatlo niyan. Si Robby, ako siya si Tipi. So, wini-wish ko sana, ano, sana, ano, tatlo kaming, ay, apat, apat, apat kaming hosts ni na DJ Chacha, sana. Kasi talagang very close kaming tatlo. So, sana si Tipi. Tsaka very musical din yun. And, makapas kayo sa pamasahe ni Tipi. Si Robby kaya na yan, may aman yan eh. O Robby, ikaw, sino daw itadalhin mo? Ay, doon nga sa tatlo pamilya ngayon. Wala naman akong ano ngayon eh. Pres ko, nung mahiya ka naman. Bakit pinag-a pong sinong ang taas ng dito mo? May oom pa. Sino pa gusto niyo marinig? Wala natin malamang dito. Pinag-a pong sinong ang tatang na to. Wala, wala po. Wala! Wala po ngayon. Friends pa kami. Okay, sige na nga pa. Paligtasin na po natin si Robby. Okay. Okay, salamat po. At yun na po ang last na question natin for our online viewers. And for this afternoon, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga kapamilya natin who joined us today for the grand press con of One Music X Dubai 2017. Again, we'd like to thank our global artists who joined us here today.
Okay, of course, we have the country's premier DJ, Mr. Robbie Domingo. Yes! We have the next big thing in homegrown EDM, DJ Moves, together with EDM artist, Zella. Yay! Pop rock band, Silent Sanctuary. Team singing sensation na umalis ng sandali, si Mr. Inigo Pascual. Soul Supreme KZ! Number one, number two, and number three, second one! Soul Supreme! Pop Rock Superstar, Yan Constantino! And OPM Rock Icon of his generation, Sir Rico Blanco! Again, thank you so much for joining us. It's a grand press spot of the next biggest music festival in the Middle East and also the first